The Oberyn Haldane Model by Armin R. Tunin. Following Darwin's little pond idea, Alexander Oberyn and his uh, fellow colleague J.B.S. Haldane wondered about the origin of life on Earth. There were two ideas mainly that could possibly explain how and where early life originated on Earth. One of them was called the extraterrestrial hypothesis, or the idea that building blocks arrived from regions outside of the Earth and didn't really have to do with extraterrestrial, as in aliens or Martians. Extraterrestrial meaning outside of Earth. And the other hypothesis was that the building blocks actually did originate here on Earth and not from an extraterrestrial source, and that's called the Oprah and Haldane model. So what you're going to have over here are your gases. So you're going to have cyanide, you're going to have water vapor, carbon dioxide, ammonia, a bunch of gases. And these gases would then form into these polymers, and these polymers would be organic compounds, which basically means that they contain carbon. And these organic compounds would range from nucleotides all the way to amino acids, which code for protein. And these amino acids and nucleotides would then uh, compete with one another, and these nucle uh, nucleotides and amino acids would slowly start forming larger and larger and larger versions of themselves. And uh, slowly but surely, membranes would then be attached and enclose in on these nucleotides and amino acids. And whenever that occurred, it formed a barrier, and what you had was a membrane with a polymer inside, which was the early, early, very early stages of what we could say was a cell, not what a cell is today, because what a cell we have today is extremely complex with a bunch of processes going on and occurring. But in the early stages of gases forming polymers, we saw that it was just a membrane with a polymer inside. This is a great hypothesis and all, but how does this actually be tested? Well, Oprin and Haldane, their model argued that uh, the Earth was a prebiotic soup of these gases, and these gases would somehow have to form organic molecules in an oxygenous atmosphere. So how would this be recreated, per se? Well, to recreate the early life on Earth, these gases such as methane, ammonia, and hydrogen would be mixed into a solution and then this solution would have electrical currents running through them and after about a week or two of experimentation these uh, gases such as methane, ammonia, water vapor, etc. all had um, some remains of carbon and that carbon remains started forming amino acids which are in fact the building blocks of proteins along with amino acids, nucleotides and other um, polymers be began forming so it proved that um, polymers can in fact form after uh, electricity has uh, reacted with these uh, early life gases like methane, ammonia and water vapor. And you here you're gonna have your visual of what I explained in the previous slide before so you're gonna have your water over here which would mimic the ocean and this water would then be sent and funneled into this area over here followed by this condenser which would condense the ocean water it would then be sent to this chamber which you're gonna have over here and that's gonna have your gases so it's gonna have water vapor methane ammonia hydrogen gas and all these gases enclosed in this chamber would have these two little uh, spokes out here and these spokes would have electricity running through them and this electricity would mimic what lightning was and whenever the lightning reacted with it it took about one to two weeks and after one to two weeks you slowly started seeing that these gases formed the polymers such as nucleotides and amino acids and it did uh, support the, the Oprah and Haldane hypothesis of molecules um, forming from early gases now this experiment was not done by Oprah or Haldane, but it supported it. It was done by two grad students, Stanley Miller and Harold Eury. And this was an extremely big step because it showed that um, polymers could be formed by gases on an early Earth in an oxygenous at atmosphere. And the idea that early life originated from chemistry can now be scientifically proven. 
and that is the end. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned something from my presentation.